Hi, I'm going to show you how you can make a banner for Tulsi Gabbard for President 2020 that you can hang over a freeway overpass. First, you start with a sketch of your design on a paper that's roughly the same proportion as the banner that you're going to use. This way you can figure out if all the lettering is going to fit and how it's going to be laid out. Then you lay out your banner in a place like a parking lot where you won't be disturbed and weigh it down if it's going to be windy and then you start sketching out your sketch that you made with pencil onto your banner. And this banner material that I'm using is basically a tarp that is about 16 feet long. This is 12 feet long by 4 feet high. And I cut this from a larger tarp which was 12 feet by 16 feet. And it's a vinyl banner that has grommets on the sides here that you can use to hook up to the fence that will be at the freeway overpass. And you can use either bungee cords or little carabiners. These are carabiners. So you can hook these through like this and hook it onto a chain link fence. If it's bars instead of a chain link fence, you can use little bungee cords. Once you've got your banner sketched out in pencil, then you're going to start spray painting. Now for the banner that I've done, what I'm going to do, I use purple for Tulsi's name. This, I, I got all these paints at Home Depot. This is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Paint and Primer Gloss Purple. So any color you want, but I use gloss purple for her letters of her name. Then I'm going to outline them with a drop shadow in orange. This I got at a lumber yard. This is Industrial Choice Precision Line. They use this for marking concrete. Uh, it's kind of a um, fluorescent orange. And then for, I'm also going to use this for 2020. And then for the tagline, I'm going to say Soldier for Peace. Hashtag Soldier for Peace. I'm going to do that in black. And this is satin canyon black. Any kind of black you want. And before you start painting, you want to try it out on something just to make sure that you have control of the paint can. Shake it up a lot, maybe for about a minute, once you hear the ball clicking. And just to test it out so you can see how it works. That looks good. And after you've sprayed for a while, make sure you shake it up. And also when you're done, spray upside down to clear the nozzle. And when you're spray, spray painting, you want to make one stroke with a clean line. As you start spraying, you press the trigger and then let go before you finish. So you go like that. Make your outlines of the letters and then spray it in carefully. Okay, so now I'm going to start spraying the letters. Got my outline here in pencil. Probably can't see it from there, but you can see it. So I've just done the outline. Be pretty close to the tarp when you're doing the outline. You want to get a sharp line and then fill it in carefully. So there's the first letter. Okay, now I've done my letters for Tulsi 2020. Now I'm going to spray the orange drop shadow.
All right, I've got the main Tulsi 2020 in purple with orange drop shadow. Now I'm going to do the tagline, hashtag soldier for peace. I've got it lined out here, written in pencil. So I'm going to follow that as close as I can. And here's the finished banner, Tulsi 2020, hashtag soldier for peace.